Hello everyone, it's uh, Rad. Uh, welcome to my channel Rad Kutarot and uh, this is going to be a disclaimer that needs to stand in front of every video I do. So if you this is the first time you are here, welcome. If not, and should you wish to proceed, well, you can fast forward into the reading that it is ahead of this disclaimer. But as a disclaimer, I need to advise you that this is a, a general reading um, of the representative star sign and for that reason because tarot is very personal divination tool and does require narrative which in personal readings appear to be your question or the situation that you are describing uh, the read the general reading may or may not resonate entirely with uh, with your situation and if it resonates that great if it doesn't i do apologize for that but sh i'm yeah, and I wish you the best, you know, with some, with the situation that you're trying to cope with. But um, if you wish to proceed with the um, personal readings or uh, you wish to follow me on Facebook or on YouTube, you know, all, all of that or visit my website, all of that is going to be written in the description the box down below. And uh, thank you for watching in advance and uh, now lay back and uh, enjoy the video. All right, so this is going to be a Leo Sun, Leo Moon, and as well a Leo Rising. Monthly Tower reading October uh, 2019, and just bear with me a couple of seconds, guys, here to shuffle the tarot cards, and uh, we can get right into it. Alright, so the first card which represents the topic of your month, Leo, that will be the Eight of Pentacles, followed by the next one which stands for the challenges uh, that you need to overcome throughout the month, that is going to be the Temperance card, followed by the third one which represents, I don't, I don't know how to put it into, uh, into words here guys, the representation of the cards, it is something like the best way you can, uh, you can, capitalize on the month all right and that is going to be the hierophant followed by the uh, fourth card which stands for the lesson that the month is going to teach you or uh, in other words you know why this is happening what is the reason behind it okay and the last one it is uh, the positive uh, that will be the uh, seven of swords here for what it seems and the last one which is the uh, the um, helpful energies or the energies that are to support you throughout the month that will be the four of swords and just from the first glance i could say i could say that that will go, is going to be quite of a um a busy month for you really guys i mean now it's time to kind of jump into uh career matters you know and to seize conquests and so on and so forth but before we go into all that and scrutinize the reading let's run the cards one more time so we do have the Eight of Pentacles as the topic, followed by the next one, which stands as a challenges here of the Temperance card. The third one is going to be the Hierophant, and that is the uh, best possible way how you can capitalize on the month benefits. The third one uh, is uh, going, the fourth one, excuse me, is going to be the lesson that you are supposed to learn throughout the month or the reason behind it, the reason behind the uh, what's happening. And the last one, it is the uh, helpful energies, things that are to support you throughout the month. That is to be the four of swords. Okay, so uh, eight of pentacles here as the topic, it will be catalyzed by the eight of wands. So we definitely are talking about material prosperity here, money, wealth and those kind of stuff uh, <clears throat> and stability as well trust and these things that are making one's life to feel consolidated to feel rock solid and so on and so forth so what happens here it is that throughout the month there are, there are going to be a lot of a um, opportunities i would say which you are to face with huge portion of conscientiousness uh, so you are going to um, basically engrave your soul and your being into them. And for that reason, now, first of all, these are a an passive neutrals type of cards. And for that reason, you are not going to lightly 
throw resources into directions that are not going to prove themselves either lucrative or are not going to give you any yield. So you can take it that you are to be very calculative and con cautious as well, you know, how you manage your resources, money, time, efforts, you know, uh, attention and so on and so forth. Additionally to that, you are going to have that keen eye for, for, for the subtleties, okay, and for, for the minor details as well into what is going to take for you to accomplish something what it is what is going to take for your marriage for example to be successful or for that project to turn out lucrative and without having the circumstances right doesn't look like that you are to jump into those endeavors meaning that you are not going to take any risks you're not going to take any chances throughout the week but what will happen here it is that a thing or yeah a, a prospect that it took you a long time to prepare for, a long time to plan for as well, can finally be put to bear, can finally start manifest itself. So you, um, you have to prepare yourself or you should be prepared that this is going to be a big month, month of October, where finally, finally your, I cannot say dream, okay, but your practical um, vision for the future will finally start taking shape. So what is going to be the challenge then? We do have the temperance and it is catalyzed here by the page of pentacles. Active neutral is what we do have chores, guys. That is going to be the... Um, the challenge here that this uh, while uh, this endeavors while lucrative and promising wealth it, it they can catch you a bit um, uh, surprised or rather like a bit off guard with the demands of activity they have at their uh, at their side so um, uh, what I'm trying to say here Leo it is that you may find yourself a bit unprepared for how much uh, attention for how much efforts as well and dedication for most those uh, opportunities will demand from you and um, at certain points even you may have that kind of like bruising feeling or rather like a, a bruising impression is it really worth it well <clears throat> you know everybody has their doubts and um, at some point we, we are finding ourselves ready to, 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 to throw whatever we have worked whatever we have worked for throughout the window. But it is important here as well to uh, dwell upon your once again keen understandings for the minor details and to understand that you cannot have the halfway through all right and uh, and the full way through or the long way through it's usually the most successful one and it does require as well to take care for some i can't really say unpleasant but let's say annoying circumstances that are to arise throughout okay you want for example a better salary well you have to negotiate for it and that is the chore that is the annoying part of it okay but definitely can be achieved that is just for example but these two cards here are uh, representing exactly the uh, the means that you have to throw in okay and uh, once again uh, even though you may uh, well it's going to be like this um, uh, even though you you may think that uh, you can cut some corners here and there and invest less than the endeavor requires that is going to be a bit impossible here. So you have to be prepared to pay the full price of your achievement. All right. Uh, the uh, next one, it is how you should face all that. So the best possible way you can tackle with all this and capitalize on the month, we do have the Hierophant and we do have, uh, it's accompanied or catalyzed by the King of Wands. So this is a another, a passive neutral here. And you need to leave your ambition, first of all, aside. And you should stop seeking only the uh, the sweetness into one's enterprise or into one's endeavor, meaning that you got to get your hands dirty at some point. OK, but these two cards here have even a, a more profound meaning in a sense of that you should do the thing, the thing for its own sake, in a sense of that should should money or something else that um, it comes as a reward it is the uh, it is the driving force for you then um, 
it's not like you're not going to achieve it, but it's not going to give you the pleasure that it's supposed to give you. But my point here is, is that you should work for to stabilize your marriage, for example, throughout this month, because you are feeling happy with this person or you're feeling happy, you know, being tied to that person instead of what the what the rest are going to say if I get divorced, you know, or you should jump into the um, into the project at your career because you find it interesting and because you find it as a, uh, a project who is going to, how can I say it, um, who is going to um, add upon your um, upon your resume okay and is go is going to uh, improve your skills skills instead of jumping into it for the money at the end okay so you need to have a, a more divine reason if i may express myself that way for why you are doing all these things instead of just for the rewards and one more thing with these two cards they are once again uh, kind of like uh, dwelling upon the fulcrum that uh, this price you will have to pay or rather like the performance you have to give in regards to get your achievements uh, is uh, is going to be a full price you ain't going to be able to cut any corners from it uh, with the hierophant sitting on a um, on a prime position but also these cards are representing something entirely different as well in a sense of um how do I say it? In a sense of uh, a, a personal pride. I, and I will tell you what I mean. So when you face difficulty throughout the month, all right, when you are baffled what you got to do, when, when you when you are feeling like there is no way out, you should seek counsel, all right? You should seek that benevolent support from those around you because people around you are not there to give you a rough time, okay? They are there to guide you. And thus... I, uh, an existing problems that you cannot find solution to are gonna a solution is gonna be found who surprisingly already is in the existing framework all right so why this is happening uh, we do have the seven of swords that is the reason uh, why all this is uh, happening and the lesson that you are to learn seven of swords and it is accompanied by the uh, by the strength card enthusiasm the enthusiasm to prove yourself let's say better than you thought you are and it is all about a personal ego here and i'm not saying that you're going to be egoistic or egotistic okay but it is like no different than the person who always thought that they can do something but they never had the courage to do it and now this month this month is going to teach you that the courage is just you know it is the most important thing the enthusiasm it is the most important thing of putting endeavor into action or, or of a, a manifesting an em enterprise here additionally to that these uh, you are gonna learn you know uh, what is uh, once again the full price of one's endeavor but you're gonna learn the hard way what it takes okay what it takes to be successful what it takes to be happy and you are gonna be happy with the happiness you're gonna get you're gonna be happy with the price you gotta pay and under price i mean you know personal time uh, some money if we were talking about investing here attention uh, if we're talking about career uh, relationship and etc etc but once you see that those things are paid off then uh, you will you will kind of like being very pleased with yourself that you bet on the right horse throughout the month but the months here the the the, the prime lesson from the months it is uh, a, a lesson where in order to feed your ego in order to um uh, you know to boost your pride let's say it that way you first need to throw yourself into the big things and that happens once again through your subtle eyes for the minor details being calculative once again where you kind of do not waste any resources while in the same time you are ready to do what it takes because you are going to be fully aware what it takes and if you think that you are going to pay less than that or you are going to give less than that it's not going to happen and the last one it is the energies which are to support you here uh, and that is the four of swords accompanied with the three of swords 
<clears throat> these are very important energies, very powerful ones. First of all, we do have an, an active supporters here and uh, those energies will not for a second allow you to lose your clamorous belief for success. It is as simple as that. Whenever the, the shit hits the fan, okay, you always have this grain of salt for those um, um, uh, precipitous abating of the situation, for the, de for the deterioration of the situation, knowing that there is a way out, okay? Or sensing that there is a way out. And instead of being frantic, instead of showing a hectic wavering, oh my God, what I'm going to do, instead of that, you're going to attend it extremely patiently, very, um, I don't know another word here, guys, but maybe a, in a calculative fashion where you scale everything, think thoroughly about everything that it is happening right now in front of you, either into your career or and either into your marriage. Consult yourself with the right people and find the right solution. It's all about that, finding the right solution, finding the right measures, how to achieve growth. Because growth, well, you are doomed for it and I mean doomed for it, you are going to be very busy career-wise, relationship-wise here. It's all about, you know, being ready to invest as well because the universe invested in you. It gave you all those um, potentials for growth, but they're not going to happen on their own accord, not with the uh, not with the Eight of Pentacles at the start, guys, and especially not with the Hierophant of what you have to do, all right? So once again, you got to be, um, you got to show that you want it. That's That's what I'm trying to say. So Leo, that was your monthly tarot reading, October 2019. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys. And we're going to see each other next time. Until then, bye.